In this video, I'm going to show you how to burn your own DVD movies using a Windows PC. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tech That Doesn't Bite. In my previous video, I show you how to burn a data CD or a data DVD on a Windows PC. This time, I'm going to show you how you can burn a DVD movie using a Windows PC. And there are two free ways that you can use to make that DVD movie so that you can play it on any DVD player that you like. So let's get started with the tutorial. But before we start the tutorial, I do want to give a little bit of disclaimer. Please use this method on files that you already own, not anything that's copyrighted, such as copyrighted movies that you don't own. So let's get started with the tutorial. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download two software. One is called DVD Flick and the other one is called Image Burn. Once you have downloaded them, you can install it and we're going to proceed to the next step after the installation. You can find the links to where you can download DVD Flick and Image Burn in the description. So once you have everything installed, let's go ahead and open up DVD Flick. So here we are. Once you open up DVD Flick, you have a unnamed project. You can go ahead. You can actually create a new project. You can save it into a different name, anything you like. So definitely if this is something that you will want to save, you know, I like the template, definitely want to save the project. But for me, I'm just going to show you how you can start building the DVD menus. So the first thing we do is we're going to add our title and the title will be your videos. I'm going to click on add title and I'm going to use this little sample video. And here you are. Here's the video right here. And we'll go ahead and go to edit title. Uh, we're just going to play around with these settings. And of course you could change it to whichever way you like, uh, before we start, you know, kind of playing around with the menus, we can look over the, you know, the chapters, the video sources, make sure that we have everything that's correct. So obviously it's going to be a little bit different depending on the video that you are trying to make the DVD. So for me, I only have one video and this video, I could break it down to chapters if I like. So I could either create chapters, you know, every five minutes, 10 minutes, depending how long your movie is, you create some chapters here if you like. And all you do is once you have created your chapters, if you want to create them, you just click on accept. And then we'll go to video source. Just make sure that this is the right video source. Audio tracks. Now, if your video has more than one audio track, it will appear right here. And that also applies to subtitles. So it'll also appear right here if your videos does include subtitles. And now I am just going to click on accept and let's go to the menu settings. Now this is where you can use the default menus that is included in DVD flick. So you now you could use this one called mosaic, orange LED, there's plasma square, simple black, simple white, and the party. Now, I have not found a way to be able to import, let's say your own images, your own background, you know, into DVD flick as of right now, I haven't found a way to do it, but if you guys are using DVD flick and you figure out a way how to do it, please leave a comment below. In this case, I am just going to click on simple black. And again, you could either have, you know, show the subtitle menu first or show the audio menu first, depending if you want to do that. You just need to check those boxes. Now I'm just going to click on preview and it's going to preview what it will look like when you put in your DVD into a DVD player. So you have the play button. You can have the area where you could choose the title and it goes back to the main page and this is the play button. And again, the unnamed project, you know, this is the project that you might have named, renamed it to something different. So whatever you named it, it will appear right here. So I'm going to accept this and you're pretty much ready to let DVD flick, you know, kind of create all the, the necessary files, the video dash TS folder and audio dash TS folder That is basically like the basic structure of a DVD movie. So now I am going to go to the projects destination right here at the very bottom. And you could choose where you want to save those folders that they're going to make. So I'm just going to leave it yeah, documents and DVD. And after that, just go ahead and click on create DVD. And here you go. It's going to start creating the DVD. Now this process could take a little while. So be patient 
and let the process finish. So now everything has been finalized. Everything has been created. So I'm just gonna click close. Let's make sure that our DVD is actually created, the DVD folder. Yep, and there it is. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to image burn. And what I'm gonna select is write files to folders. I'm gonna go ahead and actually Browse for the folder. You might get this message. It says your image contains a video TS folder in the root directory. So I'm going to assume it's a DVD video disc. DVD video discs typically use ISO 9660 UDF file systems, not the ISO 9660 Juliet as you have selected. Would you like you to adjust the settings for you? So go ahead. If you see that message, just go ahead and click on yes. You know, adjust that settings for you and you can see all the information right here on the right hand side and what I'm going to do is you just want to make sure that you have selected your DVD drive in this case I have and it's ready and I'm going to build it and burn it now it's going to ask you that I have not specified a volume label for this image so you can always rename it to something you like and I'm just going to leave it as DVD so I'm just going to go ahead click on yes and go ahead click on OK and it's gonna start burning it all right so now the dvd has been burned let's double check it to make sure that it's there yeah there it is so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna put the dvd into a dvd player stay tuned so now i'm gonna play back the dvd that i burned using dvd flick and image burn So that was the first method to burn a DVD movie using DVD flick and image burn. Now you might have noticed that with DVD flick, I couldn't really do much with the menus. Now here is another method that I've used personally as well. And it's another software called DVD styler. Now go ahead, visit the DVD stylers website and then download it and install the software onto your computer. Once you have installed it, let's go ahead and launch DVD styler. and it'll immediately show a kind of a welcome page. Again, you just create a new project name, give the disc label a specific name if you like, and you can actually choose the type of DVD disc you have. So most standard DVDs are 4.7 gigabytes. If you have a dual layer, I think it's about 8.5 gigabytes. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And video format, depending which region you are, I'm gonna select NTSC. And aspect ratio, I'm gonna do 16.9. And we're gonna keep the auto format AC3. I'm gonna click OK. Now immediately you're gonna get all these different types of templates that you can use for your DVD menu. So you could choose whichever one you like to start or you could just select no template. And it'll just kind of give you a blank kind of slate for you to work, work through. So first thing it's gonna do is it's, it's gonna say drag your videos from the file browser to here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag a video on my from my desktop. And I'm just gonna drag it right there. And that will be the title. Now what you wanna do is if you do wanna create your menus, you can actually do it right here. So here's your first menu right here. And you can start off with these background, or if you, let's say you have a custom picture or something, you just right click, go to properties, and right there, you can click on those little three dots right here and you can browse for whatever image that you wanna use as your background. So in this case, I don't have an image I want. I'm just gonna use one of these standard background right here. And that is basically the start of the menu. And let's say you wanted to add like different buttons. So the buttons will be like, you know, the menu, the you know, settings, the home button. So we could do that. And we just add menu, the buttons right here. And you just drag them. Now, 
when you are making kind of your own DVD template, what you're gonna notice is that a lot of them, they all have to be kind of connected. So, you know, right here, you go to properties, and you gotta select, you know, where does this arrow button goes? Does it go somewhere like a title or, you know, or the start of the beginning of the menu? So you're gonna have to play around with this a little bit because it's a little tricky. I like this software a lot, but it does take a little bit of a learning curve to kind of get those menus configured the way that you like it. Now, again, if you don't want to, you know, kind of build your own menu, you can actually use the ones that were already included at the very beginning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a little play button right here. And I'm gonna make sure that once I click, it clicks on it, it will play the video. So once you've kind of build your DVD menu and you're pretty much ready to burn this movie into your DVD disc. And all you do is you just click on burn. And the cool thing about this is that with DVD Styler, what it will do is that it's just gonna burn for you. You don't have to use a different software. It's just gonna burn within DVD Styler. Whereas in DVD Flick, notice that we created the DVD files and then we have to use image burn to kind of burn those files to a DVD disc. Here with DVD Styler, just does it all for you. So I'm gonna click on start and it will do all the necessary encoding and then it will burn it to a DVD. So once it's almost ready, it lets you actually give you a little preview of what it will look like. So I was able to preview this with VLC Media Player and you can either play it back and check out the buttons. And if you're ready, you can just go ahead and click yes to burn this video to your DVD. And the burning has been completed. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to do the same thing I do after I burn with DVD flick. I'm gonna put that DVD disc into my PS3 and let's take a look. So now I'm gonna play back the DVD that was burned using DVD Styler. Question of the day is, which methods do you prefer to use? Do you prefer to use DVD Flick or DVD Styler? Are there any other softwares that you will recommend? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you get notified of new videos. If you do need help learning how to burn a dated CD or DVD, check out my other previous video. And I also have a DVD Styler video for my Mac users. So if you're on the Mac, check that out as well. See you next time.